If you're having trouble getting off benzodiazepines, I'm about to show you the easiest way right after this. <laughs> If you are new to my channel, usually I talk about testosterone on here. Um, I have low testosterone and it caused me originally to have a lot of problems with anxiety. And before I got diagnosed low testosterone, the doctor thought it was a good idea to put me on uh, Xanax. So I was taking it because at the time I was just really going through a rough time with depression and just having a lot of anxiety at those times. And so he put me on Xanax, and within no time, I was hooked. I was addicted to taking them. And whenever I tried to quit, it was it was just a complete nightmare. Just a complete nightmare. I remember waking up in the middle of the night, gasping for air, uh, feeling like I was going to die or have a heart attack, and it was rough. You don't really know the real way of what it feels like coming off of this medication unless you actually take it and try to get off. Um, I just want to say that taking benzodiazepines is not something that should be taken as you think it's cool to take. Um, it should only be taken if you really have a serious major problem. Um, I would not recommend taking this stuff just to take it uh, because once you take this stuff for about a couple weeks it's in your system and it's hard to get off. The doctor switched me over to something that last about 24 hours he switched me on transing and uh, that's what I was taking for about two and a half years and when I finally got off it was a lot easier and I pretty much the way I did it was I bought a milligram scale which looks like this um, it's not a gram scale it's a milligram scale and then this is what it looks like the box so you'll need to find one of these uh, it doesn't have to be this one I'll put a link in the description of I guess I bought this off of Amazon I'll try to find it and put a link in there if not I would just go by this name if you want to buy this one that I used um, and then you want to get a razor blade and it comes with a pair of pliers all things and then it will have like weights in there to calibrate it and there's a little bowl that you can put on top but to me it always went off numbers so I just stopped using it but if you use these things you just want to make sure that you calibrate it often uh, so you get exact readings every time so I'm gonna change the camera position so you can see exactly how I did this all right, I just wanted to mention really quick that if you are trying to get off benzodiazepines really fast, this is probably not the way to do it. If you work every day like me and you don't want to have many side effects, this is the best way that I found to do it. I tried liquid nitration, but I really just don't think that it's very accurate. So if you want to try this way, I think it's the best way as far as eliminating your side effects. Um, just, I mean, it's up to you, whatever you think works best for you. But like I said, if you're home every day, you got nothing else to do, I would definitely maybe think about jumping off a little faster like the doctor says. But, but if you're like me, you're very sensitive to things, I would think that this is probably the best way for you. It did take me about a year to completely get off. Uh, it does depend on the dose that you take. But, all right, let's begin. So, you just want to turn on your scale. And you might have to calibrate it when you first get it. It just depends on your scale. But I would probably calibrate it just so you know that it's at the right um, setting every time. So you just want to take your full pill. And I'm take I was taking uh, Transine. This is the smallest dose, 3.5 milligrams. I was taking one a day. Um, this is 0.151 uh, grams, which is in the milligram setting. So 0.151 grams. So you want to write down 0.151. So, and then next, so that's your normal dose. That's what you take every day. Cool. Now, let's drop down a little bit. So we just want to shave off a little bit. Let's wave it again. Let's see what we get. So that's 0.14. Let's see, 0.150. Oh, it's perfect. That's about... And it's probably going to move because of my table. But 
just want to keep it on a flat surface every time. So that's what I did. I would take 0.150 and I took that for about two or three days. If I didn't notice any side effects, then I'd go ahead and jump down again. Um, sometimes, depending on the week, if it's a really stressful week for me, I might would have kept it at the same. But every night, I did this every night for a year. Is I mean, it, it was definitely, it's probably actually a little bit over a year. I take that back. It's probably about 14 months. And that's about how long I've been off of it now. Um, I have no desire to be back on it either. Um, it's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, if you don't keep it flat, it definitely won't read correctly. But you want to get it pretty close as you can. Um, and then just do that consistently every day until you get down to nothing. I, origi I eventually got down to... I'll show you because the scale will only read down so low. I think it's probably about this much. Let's see if this will even pick it up. Sometimes it won't pick things up. I think I'll pick that up. So, yeah, 0 0.009. I think I got it down to 0 0.004, which is about half that amount. Um, and that's whenever I went off completely. So this is the quickest, easiest way that i found. Well, I'll say quickest. It takes, took me about a year. Um, now, if you can handle taking down more, I would definitely go down more on the pill. There were some days where I dropped uh, .003. You know, that's probably about the highest that I went drop off at a time. But, uh, you know, like I said, just do it and just see how it feels for you. And I would take it until all your symptoms, your side effects go away before I would drop again um, because if you rush it too fast then it will definitely catch up with you but yeah that's it make sure to leave a comment down below like this video share hit that subscribe button for more videos coming up alright guys bye